Hey guys, welcome to the Core Ross channel. So the first trailer for the South Korean attacker just dropped. This is my in-depth video on exactly what we have with this cool new girl in Rainbow Six Siege. So first up, we actually see her using her device, her gadget, and we can see it reflected in our glasses. Now, we do see the interface of this gadget, but not clear enough that we can make out anything. We definitely have some interesting icons on the side, which is very curious. So definitely this girl seems to need to pull this device out and use it. Now I theorized from the leaks that this girl was going to be an IQ but based on sound. So she better find enemy gadgets based on sound so they would actually make a lot of noise. Your phone is ringing. Here. Let me get that for you. The way this plays out, it actually might be that not just her hearing the noise, but everyone on our team might be able to hear gadgets, which would be exceptionally powerful. Now, maybe it's more of a proximity thing. Maybe you've got to be close to her for it to be effective, but this would be really handy. And instead of just being IQ doing it, this girl could make the whole team able to detect gadgets, which is pretty damn sweet. Moving forward, we get to see her from the front. We can see that she's pretty well armored on our upper body. So she might well be a uh, two armor. On the left there, that is a patch for the White Tigers, which is the nickname for the 707th. And we've got the flag for South Korea. Moving forward, we get to see the 707 written on our back with some Korean text. We'll have to get that translated. It might just be her name or it could be something more. And we can see the rest of her body is wearing a skin tight outfit. So. She's definitely a mix between a heavy armor upper air and a three speed. We're very curious to what speed she's going to be because right now all the upper airs, like we know the polish upper air is two speed. And so far the character models for all these new upper airs do look to be around about two speed. So I do wonder if they're going to be all two speed or if there will be some variety. Then we get to see her pulling out her secondary weapon. This is the SMG-12. A lot of people seem to think it was going to be a Mac 11 kind of upgraded version. And uh, it's definitely not. It's definitely something a bit more custom. But look at the size of that magazine. It appears to have a very extended magazine. Now, the SMG 11, the Mac 11 in game, does also have an extended magazine, but it doesn't carry extended rounds in it. So it could just be this is more visual. But if she has an extended mag for her secondary, that would make up for the fact that she might have a single shot rifle, which is the MK-14, their primary. And I think that would be a pretty good balance. So, very interesting. Now, also what she's shooting at is a gadget that she made make noise. So she was able to locate it and then shoot it based just on that noise. And again, if she can make gadgets loud for an entire team, that could be huge and very, very powerful. But obviously she does need to use the gadget in some way. But it might be that it's on a cooldown. It might also be, of course, if everyone on the attacking team can hear it, also the defenders will be able to hear it, which of course is very bad because that might mean they know this girl's close. If she has to get relatively close to do it, they might know she's in the vicinity and hunt her down. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. In that set, we get this very confident look at the end of the trailer, which seems to be a hallmark of these trailers so far. The final stance of the Polish operator was also super confident. So, very excited by this. Now, I want to take you back to this image yesterday, which is of the Korean Defender. Now, now I expect this trailer to go live probably tomorrow, maybe Saturday at a push, but it'll definitely go live, I think, before the live stream reveal, obviously. A lot of people were commenting that he has a, a what looks like a mute jammer on his back. And it sparked an idea in my head because the idea was this guy is going to be invisible to drones. But feasibly, that's quite advanced tech. So I think what he's actually doing is that gear on the back of his, that gear that he's got on the back actually intercepts the video feed from the drones, captures it, then edits it so that he is no longer in that video feed and then rebroadcasts it back to the attackers. So he's not invisible to drones, but he's, his system actually edits him out of the visual signal 
that is actually getting sent to the attackers. And I think that's exactly what this guy does. And I can't wait to see his trailer tomorrow. And I'm so sure he's just going to disappear from all of those screens. Cannot wait to see this. Anyway, guys, this trailer for the attacker is very short, very simple. Gives us a little glimpse of what she does, but it's still open to interpretation exactly how this gadget's going to work. If it entirely is the kind of sound-based detection, and how it's still, still how that actually works, how good it is as well. And it might just be her, it might be the whole team, it might make even the defenders hard to hear if they're around a whole bunch of gadgets. Who knows? Um, I can't wait to find out more on the live stream on Sunday. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Your phone is ringing. Here. Let me get that for you.